spirit of the living god you were sent by the father to us you represent the ministry of his power in our lives and tonight we agree and we believe that your power will be made manifest in our lives Amen. lord over many situations in this place let tonight bring the solution once and for all and for someone who is saying lord are you able let me speak to your life that this god is a mighty god and he will surprise you tonight <laughs> to someone who is saying i shouted amen before and nothing happened let me declare over your life tonight becomes your night To someone who is saying i celebrated the hand of god in others and what their testimonies but i am yet to receive mine that seed you have sown your harvest is coming this night for someone who is saying i'm even discouraged i don't know whether to believe or not in the name of jesus the mercy of god is speaking for you this night And for someone who already saw this day in your dream and your vision i declare that what you saw that is consistent with the will of god tonight is the night when it manifests why do we pray we pray to align our hearts to the speakings of the spirit we pray so that there are no solical distractions while the word of god is coming go ahead and pray all the overflows make sure you are praying those who are following online and those with the main auditorium go ahead and pray Sada balata pasha da pakata prante geske de belenya. Ingre teke te balaku shada fraske de balaku ziata. Bande prata ska de beleku shali gre te geske dia pasha da balaka da balato sada bleni dia. Ingre teke te balasha laska na mahas kati bakaria da kato zia. Neke te prante ska de balaka tushka da prante ge balaku ziate. El kata fraska da balaka tushka prante ska do prante ga balash. Make sure you are praying, you are opening your spirit to receive. Just for a minute or two, 
The helper, the paraclete. The 
listen one of the greatest gifts that can be given to a man is access to the I bring it under your feet now the prayer of Jabez oh that thou wouldest bless me therefore I declare South Africa house of treasures every businessman every man of God every captain of industry I decree and declare let the blessing of the Lord rest on you now above and beyond any curse above and beyond any satanic manipulation be blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed. Be blessed in the morning blessed in the afternoon blessed in the evening blessed in the city blessed in the country in the name of jesus and enlarge my coast the bible says and he measured a thousand cubits in the name of jesus listen carefully i want to pray for you first spiritually then financially then territorially i command be enlarged be enlarged be enlarged be enlarged increase advance make progress be enlarged house of treasures south africa be enlarged in the name of jesus christ and that your hand will rest upon me when the hand of god comes upon you it means speed when the hand of god comes upon you it means power and capacity when the hand of god comes upon you it means the engracing for possibilities therefore i call upon my god who is also your god may that mighty hand rest upon you now may the power of god come upon you now to do exploits for the kingdom in the name of jesus christ number four and that you will be kept from evil and that it will not hurt you did your bible not say the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity i pray for you in the name of jesus may the discerning grace and even the keeping grace work together to protect you from evil he said but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him even against that day therefore i declare in the name of jesus christ the devil will not have a chance over your life evil will not have a chance over your life and jabez was more honorable than his brethren let me prophesy to you listen there is a grace that can lift a man above his contemporaries not from a competitive standpoint he says jabez was more honorable than his brethren he said esther obtained favor from the king and the king loved esther more than all the virgins that more than grace that grace that can lift you more than receive it in the name of ministry laboring and serving the purposes of god i know that your nation like gone through and is going through all kinds of transitions my first prayer for you is that god will keep you pure in the name of jesus christ that you will be a pure breed indeed all the appetites of the flesh that distract the purity of your call i declare may they be far from your life then i pray for you experience a strange order of numerical growth a strange order of financial growth i bring you the ministry of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ help that man please that every altar and every pulpit will be set on fire for jesus we pray for the spirit of the evangelistic 
the pastoral the apostolic and the prophetic every dimension you have been called in right now i stretch my hands the grace and the mantle you need men of god now take that fire 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 prophetic fire i empower you by the spirit prophetic wells everyone called into the prophetic ministry the apostolic ministry i impart grace upon you the spirit of revelation may it come upon you right now the eyes of your understanding being enlightened as you may know in the name of jesus christ let me pray for those in business in addition to the value that you provide in addition to the products and the services that you package and you sell to a targeted consumer base you will need the prophetic you will need the backing of heaven therefore i pray for every businessman in the name of jesus because the lord is your shepherd i prophesy that you shall not want find favor with the powers that be find favor with systems and structures find favor with gatekeepers find favor with captains of industry i prophesy may my god increase you more and more i give your business visibility in the market space in the name of jesus christ listen the Lord is bringing the church to a dimension where men will equal nations because of the blessing of the Lord and the supply of the Spirit. May you be part of that army. We're wrapping up. Let me pray for every family here in South Africa. How many of you know that if you are the only one who is saved and if you are the only one who is doing well, you are still not free? He said, as for me, and my house there are many people here your trouble is not sickness your trouble is not poverty your problem is your children are we together let me pray for you any family here that is yet to experience salvation genuine salvation transformation having children that are not yet in order having family members scattered there is no peace there is no joy and unity here at this conference in the name of jesus we declare by the power of the holy spirit peace be still to every storm in your family peace be still peace be still peace be still, peace be still. hear me let me pray for our children the prodigal son said the bible says he came to himself and he said to himself how many hired servants has my father and yet i am here feeding with the swine he said i will arise and i will go back to my father and i will say unto him father i have sinned against you and against heaven i am not worthy to be called your son take me as one of your servants the most important thing is he came to himself the grace that makes men come to themselves to realize what they are doing and to be converted for good may that grace come upon you may that grace come upon our children south africa you will not lose your children you will not lose your children to moral decadence you will not lose your children to the corruption of the times in the name of jesus christ we're wrapping up hallelujah i just felt stirred in my heart to do this apostle felix and his precious wife um they love this ministry and this man has labored and continues to labor for the program of god in one minute right where you are i want you to speak a prophetic word of prayer from the depth of your heart please speak it to this man and his dear wife you love them sincerely as your pastor as your father whether you are a member of house of treasures or not go ahead and pray just right where they are pray for them 
pray for them lord you will raise aaron's and horse pray for them pray for them that god will continue to use him mightily he has been the force behind them the rising of many the gates of hell will not prevail against him wisdom for him pray for house of treasures under his watch it will only be from glory to glory is someone praying the church of the lord jesus christ is praying for his choice servant and his maid servant you love your pastor you love this man of god pray for him from the depth of your heart preserve him oh god keep him oh god anoint him oh god afresh with grace afresh with wisdom afresh with fire afresh with power hallelujah in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ two last functions and then i take my leave every time i travel to any nation i believe that part of the apostolic responsibility is to stand in faith with those who are of faith and those who are in power governmentally speaking to pray over this nation i truly love south africa it's true hallelujah and please hear me i believe in what god is doing in africa i believe in what god is doing in south africa are we together now yes in one minute for every time god grants me the privilege to be here or anywhere around the soil of this nation i will make my contributions and lend my voice to speak over your soil are we together if you love south africa in one minute just one minute from the depth of your heart let's lift up a cry as the church of the lord jesus christ over south africa go ahead and pray pray for your parliament pray for those in government all the tiers of government if you are in politics here we are praying for you if you are in government here we are praying for you go ahead and pray right from the presidency to every region pray that the program of god over south africa will not be thwarted will not be aborted is someone praying that your leaders will enact policies that will bring fairness and justice and equity to all that every south african will be proud of being in this soil pray that this nation will not go down it will only be from glory to glory to glory to glory mention the regions if you can remember them prophesy upon everyone in south africa young old male female pray for your politicians we pray for the peace of jerusalem for in jesus name i pray father i lift up this as a prophetic sign over this beautiful nation of south africa that you have so loved south africa you will not go down south africa you will not go down south africa you will not go down you will not go down from the presidency to your house of parliament we decree and declare everybody who should be there by god we enthrone them prophetically in the mighty and matchless name of jesus we declare that this is a nation you will be proud of this is a nation your children will be proud of in the mighty name of jesus we declare that terrorism will never find its way to your soil we declare that corruption is leading and it's on its way out of south africa we declare that anything that represents injustice and inequity let it be far from your brothers in the mighty name of jesus christ koinonia i pray for you may this be your portion this night in the name of jesus christ hear me commanding results in the kingdom is not rocket science 
the grace of God has demystified these things so that the saints will understand hear me God is glorified when we rise give us some touchy again now you will understand it says that my glory will praise you I can praise you even without results but I need my glory to praise you thou has turned for me my mourning into dancing thou has put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness verse 12 it says give us verse 12 please to the end that my glory that means as you are worshipping your car outside is also worshipping as you are worshipping the baby is also worshipping your results should also worship God this is why we are here tonight and if you are coming here for the first time you are welcome you will know that you came to a place where God dwells because my God will surprise you this night so what is God doing tonight one he's healing two he's bringing deliverance three he's bringing breakthroughs number four he's bringing restorations do you believe this number five i believe he's opening the book of remembrance listen god never forgets but men can forget and it is equally dangerous when men forget you hallelujah the bible says the keeper of israel he neither sleeps nor slumber look at the gentleman who gave his testimony i hope when you listen to these testimonies you are learning from them now the man told him i have signed the contract and yet the man forgot the same way somebody thought that it was you he blessed and forgot he must remember this night in the name of jesus christ anywhere your portion is hiding in this city and in this nation in the name of jesus if you believe it i declare over you by the god who called me he must look for you in the name of jesus Please sit down. I believe this, oh, I believe this. Let the atmosphere of faith help that lady under the anointing. Please participate in everything we are doing tonight. Don't waste your time. You came here since morning. Don't just watch others and clap. When we are saying shout Jesus, when, when the power of God is moving, touching people, don't just be passive and you are watching and saying, wow, it was a powerful service. That's not what you came to do. This is not a cinema this is not a museum you came because there are some things that must give way you came because your ministry the parascopia the mockery and the shame around your ministry as though god did not call you you came to encounter grace that will rewrite the narrative of your ministry so if you're a man of god a woman of god don't sit down and see the anointing is not available for you to receive if ye being evil know how to give good gifts god is a giver did you hear that god is a giver let me give you one prayer point father my portion in life and destiny my prophetic portion i receive it in the name of jesus it must gravitate towards my life please open your mouth and pray that portion of grace allocated for my efficiency and god is able to make all grace abound towards you god is able to make all grace abound towards you
let me add one more prayer point father let me enter my season of results that my hand will hold something a season of results please open your mouth and pray my season of results let my life capture your faithfulness everywhere pray you are following online pray a season of the performance same level give me a testimony give me a testimony give me a testimony I need a consolation to my Christian experience in the name of Jesus put a new song in my mouth a, prayer, a song of praise to our God that many will see and fear and put their trust in you let my life carry the evidence of being a child of God let my life carry the evidence of being a favored one let my life carry the evidence of carrying the mantles and the graces that you have given me hallelujah hallelujah listen we do not serve God just because of results we love him more than that however however there are many people whose knowing God depends on your results are we together when Peter stood before the Jerusalem council in defense of the miracle that happened the Bible says the man who was healed was standing with him it is one thing to declare Jesus based on the authority of scripture but it's one thing to declare Jesus in the presence of your evidence you are a true witness when your evidence is there you can tell people God lifts and they will believe but when you are lifted and you say God lifts it will be stupid to doubt you this is what I'm praying because see many of you you're promoting the purposes of God is not efficient because the evidence that you need as a man of God you can't keep telling people God opens doors they keep shouting amen indefinitely they are human they will be tired do you mind praying this prayer one more time father in the name of Jesus let my life command an evidence the proof of your faithfulness seen in my life the proof of victory seen in my life the proof of favor seen in my life the proof of intimacy with the Holy Spirit seen in my life in my life sin in my life give me a change of story in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we are going into the ministry of the spirit right now where God is going to be visiting us I want you to believe when it's time to pray for the sick I want you to open up your heart you came with a sick person when it's time to receive that miracle 
I want you to receive with all your heart. And when we instruct you to check yourself and you find out the power of God has touched you, you make your way very quickly here and will be ministering deliverance. Listen, the word of God is the conveyor of his power. So for every word that comes like never before, receive it with understanding and intention. I know what God has shown me about the kind of people he's raising. I know what God has told me as we pray preparing for this. Many of you have traveled from across literally nations across the globe. Several regions within this nation. God will not gather you like this to waste your time. Hallelujah. And as I begin to minister in the spirit, don't worry. Just allow me to do my crazy things here. I'm walking with the spirit. The way God walks, by now you know. It does not make sense but provided is consistent with his character and it produces results sometimes the ways of the spirit is like the way of the wind you cannot tell where it cometh and where it goeth but one thing you cannot deny is the signature of God's power upon it there are prophetic actions that will come sometimes they may not make sense be flexible and be childlike enough to believe the Lord hallelujah this is koinonia hmm. please stand just remain silent i'm not making an altar call it is the power of god that is going to be moving and please ushers now let me just say this whether you are an usher or not our ushers are limited there are thousands of people here and all across um anyone who is under the anointing close to you if i ask you to bring them please just bring them out so that we'll hurry up it is my prayer that everybody will receive maximally within the limited time that we have i don't intend to keep us too long but i want that god will grant us grace to do so much hallelujah when God speaks like this, it is because there is something that he's doing. Hallelujah. Are we together? So after the first shout, there will be a shout of a lady. And then after that, the power of God will start moving to specific people. And what I am seeing in the spirit, I'm just seeing like a cloud about to rain. And that's what God is doing to these families that he's single-handedly bringing out. Bring them out now. Please bring them out. My restorer has won my battle for me. My lifter has won my battle for me. The God of lifting has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man is one my battle for me. My restorer has won my battle for me. My redeemer has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man. I'm a winner man, no winner man. Let me tell you what is happening to these families that God is singling out. I saw a cloud, and the Bible says, if the cloud be full of rain, there is a strange visitation to bring testimonies. The power of God is still moving on those families. You're not shouting, you're not doing anything. Just this instruction God is giving me. It's impossible to stand if the hand of God is upon you in that family. Let captivity be turned around. 
It's a miracle service. God is bringing to end captivity. Opening the gates of heaven. Ah, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. It's coming to an end. Surely there is an end. It is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. Shame coming to an end. Reproach coming to an end. God of lifting has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. The God of favor has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Number two, tonight's miracle service is very strange. I'm seeing a bunch of keys that is being handed over to people in the spirit. Now hear me. It is coming like fire on people's hands. I want you to bring them out. Key stands for access. There are people who have not been able to access certain dimensions. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. Access. God is giving you access. Access to realms. Access to things. Access to treasures of your destiny. Among our viewers, the Lord is showing me someone you are following from the U.S. You are sitting on a couch, you and your children, girls. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are part of those that God is giving this access to. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I am praying for you right now. As God is doing it here. Listen, without a key, even when there is a door, it will not open. By this key that God is giving, he's swinging open doors. I'm still praying again. The fire of God is still visiting people. Opening doors by this key that he's giving. Very strange manifestation of doors opening for you. hallelujah hallelujah it's very strange how god is operating tonight i'm looking in a vision and this is what i'm saying please listen i'm seeing a woman who is pregnant and lying down like on a bed in a labor room but she's not giving birth i know this is a prophetic statement there are some of you after nine months a woman should give birth but there are some of you spiritually financially pregnancy actually happened but now to give birth to the testimony something is stopping it i'm going to pray for you the power of god is coming on you it's time to give birth prophetically giving birth to dimensions of grace and i'm praying right now in the name of jesus everyone who is part of this vision I saw of this pregnant woman in the name of Jesus I stand as a prophetic midwife I command your prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now by the spirit and the power of God prophetic delivery right now now please hear me 
people usually run when I pray for speed. But people are going to be running but for a different reason now. It is not just for speed. I want you to be sensitive. It is not just for speed. It is still the same running. But the Spirit of God is speaking to me. Hallelujah. This running prophetically is a sign of deliverance. Leaving the place of pain into the place of glory. Leaving the place of shame into the place of dignity. I'm going to stretch my hands now. The power of God will come on many people and they will start running. Hold them gently and just bring them out. I decree and declare, even as God has revealed to me, I release that grace right now. Be separated right now. Be separated right now. Be separated right now. Be separated right now from any obstacle, any condition. Bring a pathoscope pattern, bringing you shame and reproach. Be separated right now. Open your mouth and begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I prophesy a separation by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. Who is Matilda? I'm hearing a name Matilda. Matilda. This should be a lady's name. Matilda. This is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a name Matilda. Please be sensitive. We're going to pray. Matilda. The Lord is bringing a visitation to Matilda and her family. Who is Victory? I'm hearing the name Victory. Not Victor. Victory. Ends with a Y. Victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a strange visitation that is coming for that person. Please don't don't just come out at random. Let's let's be sure that victory. Alandi Shalakosiata. What's your name, my dear? Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray for people, but I'm seeing a woman, a lady. You had a miscarriage last week. You had a miscarriage last week. Please help them. You had a miscarriage last week. I don't know where that person is, but I want to pray for you now. victory you have victory I'm seeing oil being poured on two of you I'm going to pray for everybody but I'm seeing oil right now and the Lord is and with that oil I'm seeing something leaving your body this is what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands over the victory that has come out by the power of the Holy Spirit first two of you before I pray I command right now in the name of Jesus by this oil and this mantle upon you every demonic thing every embargo sitting upon your destiny I cast it out of you right now 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 there is a lady you had a miscarriage last week this is what God is showing me please make sure you don't tell lies we have a, a, a miscarriage last week who is that what's your name Miriam Miriam you had a miscarriage last week you're married how long this year this year I'm going to pray for you who is miscarriage how long last week, last week. where are you from from Maraba no 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 where are you from state of origin a ghost state do you believe in the power of God yes, sir. shout Jesus as loud as you can Jesus! 
in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I'm seeing stones around fire this is what I'm seeing and the Lord is telling me to take it away I declare every altar that is speaking against your life as I'm praying for her I'm praying for someone in the name of Jesus anything that will not let you go I stand prophetically and I scatter it right now I stand prophetically and I scatter I scatter it right now in the name of Jesus Christ Help that lady, please. I decree and declare all who have had miscarriages according to the time of life, I prophesy to you right now. I don't care what the medical situation is. Return with your miracle children now. Return with your miracle children now. Who is Augustina? Augustina. I'm hearing a name Augustina. Augustina. God is bringing victory for that family. The family of Augustina. God is bringing victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you have been building. This is more than seven years. I'm seeing a building and I'm seeing the number seven written on it more than seven years it has not been completed whether it's an individual whether it's a family no matter what it is that you do it looks like it is not completed i want you to lift your hands you don't have to come out the power of god is coming upon you right now it is a finisher's anointing you will be surprised to see what happens some of you before december i'm standing as every power sitting on these projects and will not allow you make progress i decree and declare go forward in the name of jesus hallelujah huh. the lord is opening my eyes and i'm standing in front of a river please look listen carefully i'm standing in front of a river and this is what i'm seeing you would think it's fish that is coming out of the river but i'm seeing human beings tied with chains you know how fish comes out and goes back that's what i'm seeing the Lord wants to set people free now please listen I'm going to it's a massive deliverance that is going to happen now please hear me I'm seeing people like you know how you are in a river and it should be fish that come you know how fishes jump but I'm seeing human beings tied like fishes but they are human beings I'm praying right now you are about to shout Jesus my goodness my God every marine spirit spirits of darkness connected to the waters it was an element of creation god gave for man's advantage but has been manipulated by powers that be in the name of jesus anyone whose destiny has been buried kept down by orchestrations of evil spirits as you shout the name jesus may that fire come upon you and i lose you are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus i lose you now i lose you now covenants and altars tied to water i lose you now 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 I'm still praying in the name of Jesus whether you believe it or not listen I'm telling you when God reveals this many of you may not know the cause of the issues around your life wicked demonic patterns no hear me look up let me teach you something 
the bible says in revelations when you read 18 19 20 it says in the judgment hell gave up the dead then the bible said the sea gave up the dead the sea has become a burial ground for many people's destinies tied down by activities of witchcraft when you read your bible it says all of the abundance came forth out of the waters and the devil has manipulated it to destroy people i am still praying again anyone's destiny here your destiny means where god has preordained for you that has been tied trapped down maritally financially in terms of fruitfulness i decree and declare the spirits that are back of it be judged now 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 hallelujah please look at me i want to ask you a question when naaman washed seven times and got up and his skin became free look up where did the leprosy go to where did the dead skin go to the spirit of that leprosy was still hovering around the man who jesus told him to wash at siloam when he washed and he saw where did the blindness go to now listen just because people have abused all of these things through unfortunately extra biblical practices you need to have spiritual intelligence enough to understand the dynamics of commanding victory for the believer are we together now The water is a very mysterious spiritual substance because it has an expression of the trinity too as ice as liquid and as gas water is not limited by anything does not fear anything does not run away from anything very mysterious father i want to pray over chains that is holding people's progress chains chains we are going to pray for the sick shortly but there are many of you you do not know why regardless the efforts anything you do it looks like there is no result for it and you are not lazy you are not lazy you are diligent some of you have been in this city for many years and yet it looks like nothing has opened for you please take seriously the prayer i'm about to pray because fire from heaven is about to fall on someone i decree and declare right now anyone whose destiny has been chained and hijacked by the powers that be in the name that is above all names my god i'm seeing fire resting on people i declare be released now Be released now. Be released now. Do you believe in the power of prophecy? Listen, many of you will be surprised at the testimonies. See, you are not the only one listening. Your situations are also listening. Are we together? That means conditions also listen. Everything has breath. Everything listens. So don't think you are the only one who is here and your problems are somewhere scattered around. No, they are all listening. Did the Bible not say that when there was a conversation between the prophet and the woman, the oil and the jar, they were all part of, they were participating in the conversation. Nothing except, and he said, no, don't call that except. Go and borrow vessels and the oil will show you it was part of the conversation.
There's someone here You've been having I'm going to pray for the sick shortly You've been having severe headache When it comes upon you It almost acts as if you are losing your mind This is a very demonic thing This is not just a headache As a result of fatigue The power of God is coming upon you right now Right now Two of you are not in this auditorium, but the power of God is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. In the name of Jesus. And for all of you who have come out here, you did not just come out to waste your time. I decree and declare. The same way these spirits have left you, they go for good. And for some of you, even before this service is over, your testimony begins. Deborah, 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 Deborah. Your name is Deborah? Your wife, allow him, please leave him. Deborah. Please hold the person who starts running out now. I just saw in my vision someone is running out. Hold that one person and bring the person out. Literally, like running. Just hold the person so they don't injure themselves. But bring them. I'm going to pray for you. I had in my spirit Deborah. Ah, the power of God is coming on you. Laughter. This is what I'm hearing for Deborah. Laughter. Laughter, 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 laughter. I decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. Laughter, you are entering your season of laughter. I prophesy it and I decree and declare. You receive it by the Spirit. May it be so for you. Laughter, laughter. Anything that fights your laughter, I curse it right now. He said, when the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. I prophesy as I hear in my spirit. Laughter, laughter. Step into your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray for a family. Oh dear. You are from Gombe State. Gombe State. Where is the family? Gombe State. Uh, ah, I'm not saying everybody from Gombe State come out. Oh, if we have that, there is. I, I'm seeing a family. Ah, uh, mother and not. Our people are already out now what do we do mama you are welcome Oprah. of course everybody wants to go forward so once you hear a word i will pray for you that's no 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 you don't have to come ah huh? deborah i already prayed for deborah you received by faith and eh? we're talking of um, gombe state the lord is speaking to me I want to pray for you. Please believe in the power of God. Oh, we are not acting this thing. It's a mighty visitation. God is going to give that family. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. Ah. No one will Who can stand against our King No one can Altars are breaking oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Victory belongs to Jesus Father, you spoke to me about a family in Gombe State. 
I'm using these ones in front as a prophetic point of contact. Listen, the power of God is going to come upon you. And everything that represents shame and reproach for that family, whether you are here represented or prophetically following online, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let the power of God bring to end every activity of witchcraft now. Every activity of witchcraft now. Be broken, be broken. Help my mom, please. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken now. The Lord is showing... I'm going to pray for you. Listen. In the name of Jesus, I'm, the Lord is showing me a family where the ladies don't give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Not, not necessarily in Gombe State. This is another case God is showing me. Ladies, whether they get married, they are not able to have children. And this is like a pattern. It's happened to a number of the ladies. You don't have to come out. Whether you are online or you are in here please i want you to believe god is visiting people's situations in the name of jesus before i finish with you my gombe people any spirit that has sat on the womb of the ladies in any family and vowed that they will not be bet by the power that raised christ from the dead we command those altars broken now We command those altars broken now. Now for all of you, I know some of you, your, maybe your children or your siblings are not here since God spoke about families. As you are standing in faith, I use you as a point of contact. And I pray for your siblings wherever they are in this nation and across the globe. Between now and the end of this year, return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. I'm going to pray for the sick. How many of you believe in prosperity? Financial prosperity. I know there are five levels. I'm talking about financial prosperity. I believe in it. Oh. I don't, if you don't believe, you can, you can. It is a very bad thing to be poor. Let me just tell you straight to the point. The reason is, and remember you have been taught here, when we teach this, we are not teaching from a, an unbeliever's carnal pursuit for material things. But let me assure you by the Spirit of God, you will not be able to do much for the kingdom and for yourself. Poverty takes away dignity from the life of people. Hallelujah. There is the wisdom that brings prosperity first as a superior belief system and then an understanding of the value that you provide there is favor that ties with wisdom and brings prosperity but there is the prophetic that manages the back end of spiritual interruptions to that journey get this equation now wisdom as your belief system and as the value that you provide that is the department of wisdom there is favor programming men and systems to respond favorably to you then there is the prophetic dimension are we together if you lack any one of these three you will be poor if you have a superior belief system you have value alone you will be very limited you must have favor because at the back end of what brings you wealth are men and if those men don't like you and don't believe you you can be valuable and you will still remain there are we together if you have favor in your life and you do not have wisdom you will only have circumstantial wealth as important as it is because men will come but wisdom your your mindset will keep driving away what favor puts in your hand but if you have wisdom and have favor as powerful as it is and you do not have the prophetic you will keep building and crashing 
because one activity of demon spirits one activity of the realm of the spirit will rubbish your wisdom completely you can impart the spirit of wisdom but it takes time to build belief systems and that's what we do every week as for favor there is a grace and there is an understanding that brings favor but this prophetic dimension is my assignment i'm going to pray for the sick but i want to speak it listen by the grace of god i vowed before god that i will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant alone and then become irresponsible in every area of their life god is not glorified if you cannot pay your children's school fees god is not glorified if you sit down the time you should be spending building your spiritual life you are praying for rent no god is not glorified if you have to tell lies and lie that you are not in the house because the person you are owing has come to knock and afterwards you ask for forgiveness then you lie again it is the assignment of the church in partnership with the holy spirit to provide for you the resources that it takes to prosper listen to me men can prosper i know that there are this ministry has very successful people at different levels building transgenerational wealth is more than just having money in your account building transgenerational wealth is rising to a point where you build systems that can secure your life that even in famine you will laugh this balloon success of rising up today and anything that happens across the world you are shaking that's not the kingdom's way at every level we can still rise higher and for some of you who are saying i am comfortable your understanding is poor as far as kingdom advance is concerned because until the kingdom has benefited from your resources you are not prosperous for as long as your resources ends up with you your comfort yes but your comfort alone wrong for the sake of thy prosperity i desire your house I'm going to speak over your life before we pray for the sick please i plead with you in the name of jesus if you ever believe and respect the prophetic believe this declaration just believe it and insult me that i'm stupid afterwards if it does not happen but please believe it father in the name of jesus christ I cry unto you you are a covenant keeping God I have vowed and you have agreed with it that we will raise a people of influence Lord there are people here who love you sincerely but this financial embarrassment has tied their lives down I stand by the prophetic in the name of Jesus for as many who believe in this grace and whose heart is open I prophesy to you the grace that lifts men bringing them out of financial shame to a life of dignity that allows you to serve the Lord receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now businesses receive that grace now families receive that grace now territories receive that grace now anyone who is in any financial situation you are owing you lost money you are in business there's some kind of financial trouble in the name of jesus like elijah prophesied over the 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 woman in zarephath i speak to your life may god raise men to bring you out of that situation may god raise men to bring you out of that situation apostle what do i do to prosper may my god show you in a dream in the name of jesus the area connected to your wealth i ask my god to open your eyes in the vision of the night and show you where he has kept the wine and the oil for you
Can I declare favor over you? If it happens only once in your life, it is not favor. Mm -mm. There is a big difference between breakthrough and favor. Breakthrough is when the obstacles and the limitations that impede you are taken away. Favor is when under regardless what conditions, you begin to have predictable positive results. God compelling men to help you. Listen, I submit to you and at the risk of sounding proud, I know what I'm saying. Forgive me if my statement or anything sounds like boasting or arrogance. I know what it means to walk in the favor of God. I'm praying for you such as I have in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God the one who favors men I'm praying for you let this mantle rest upon your head may this mantle rest upon your head may this mantle rest upon your head Sincerely believers hear me, let me tell you the truth. Most of the things that are be the glory, lose all the guilty Please lay your hands now believing. Anywhere you are trusting God for a miracle, I'm seeing people lifting the photos of their loved ones. I'm seeing others connecting by faith. There are people following from hospitals having death sentences it is for your sake that god sent us to be channels of healing and miracles i believe in miracles i really do now here's what will happen i'm going to pray for the sick now and expect the power of god like i taught you earlier to rest upon you if you are the one standing for yourself or for your loved one who you are believing for a miracle are we together the moment that happens very very briefly very very briefly we're going to allow a few people and it doesn't mean that you have to you must have been healed tonight if in the course of the service the week the power of god has touched you and there is a healing miracle you can join them will take for a very few minutes just a few people and those who are outside and all the overflows uh, would like to hear what god is doing with them too so if there's anyone who is healed there and they're coming please usher's protocol allow them provided they rush fast let's have a few notable testimonies to honor jesus and then we'll pray over the requests and i'll speak over your life hallelujah please stand if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and then we'll pray hallelujah and i want you to agree as i pray for those who are following from hospitals other people carrying their medical reports there is nothing you cannot do there's no mountain If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. He's not about to stop doing it. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God, who gives men the power to heal the sick. I decree and declare right now, so many phones lifted representing people, some following, some demonic conditions, some death sentences. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of that infirmity, whatever it is called, I invoke the name that is above every other name and even the blood of the eternal covenant that altar that speaks above and against every negative altar I command that those spirits depart right now depart right now depart right now 
now i decree and declare in the name of jesus for all those who are sick it doesn't matter how long and it does not matter what the problem is i stretch my hands prophetically and i declare be healed now let the life of god surge into your body now in the name of jesus christ bone conditions anyone having a bone condition i declare be healed now anyone lying down on the sick bed i forbid you from dying in the name of jesus hiv be healed now cancer be healed now tumors and growths be healed now partial or complete blindness eyes be open now ears be unstopped now you heard about the testimony of the lady that God gave a brand new womb. In the name of Jesus, any organ that is failed or failing, we command a brand new organ now. Peptic ulcer be healed. Recurrent migraines be healed. Blood conditions be healed. There's someone you have a serious problem smelling. It's just, you know how it's like you put pepper in someone's nose and that stink. That's literally how it is for you. God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, you are healed right now. The Lord is showing me someone, you usually are a straight person. You stand very straight, but something began to happen to you and you are bending over. It's like something is bending you over in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that you are straightened now someone's kneecap you've had severe pain around your kneecap in Jesus name may the power of God touch you There's someone you are you are going you are going to go for a surgery i'm seeing that you are supposed to go for a surgery in two weeks i don't know what the condition is but it had to it has to do with your abdominal region in the name of jesus may the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe breathing problems um you've not gone to the hospital for any check but you've had severe sometimes you sit down and you are gasping for breath you thought it was because you are adding weight but that thing is still happening to you in the name of jesus christ severe breathing whatever is wrong with your respiratory system we correct it now by the power of god you have a problem with your the lumbar area the power of god is touching you right now you almost you cannot bend properly when you bend you feel severe pain the lord is touching you right now now whether i mention your case or not i want you to believe right now in the name of jesus there is a woman you are not here in nigeria your daughter has kidney stones this is what i'm seeing the power of god is touching that little girl right now i'm hearing the name bronchitis bronchitis in the name of jesus whether here or anywhere following across the globe i declare be healed now i'm seeing a woman in fact i'm seeing in my vision a woman is holding another woman and that woman is suffering from hypertension in the name of jesus christ i pray by the power of god that woman is healed now if there's anybody here who came with a mad person 
maybe a mad person having any kind of um, psychosomatic disorder any kind of you know issue that has to do with madness in jesus name we declare they are restored now they are restored now repeated malaria month after month you treat it it returns you treat it it returns in jesus name be healed now by the power of the holy spirit and then the lord is showing me someone um not to be embarrassed but you've not even gone to the toilet in days because you have a very acute i don't know if you've gone to the hospital but you have an an embarrassingly painful expression of pile this is is, is this thing with what i'm seeing is not even just like pile it's like a swelling even though i'm praying for you but it will be wise to at least try to see a doctor because what you know what i'm seeing is not very good is is wise and i've taught you here we believe in the healing power of god but we are responsible people you have a situation that calls for concern there are many many doctors that are born again and filled with the holy spirit they can be able to examine you even if it needs a miracle they'll be honest enough to tell you it is wiser to at least get that perspective than to you know irresponsibly sh shrug it away and yet you are not releasing your faith for that person i'm praying right now this night this moment may the power of god touch you now in the name of jesus christ someone's left ear left ear you hear a very you know very irritating sound and then that's it i'm praying for you be healed now and pains around the body any part of the body whatsoever be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i speak healing for you now 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 this life your house can become an altar your small area can become an altar two of you three of you can begin to pray it doesn't matter that god started with you it doesn't need to have a name the name is prayer seven to nine five to six in the morning nine to ten every day or two days in a week or three days in a week you do this and see what begins to happen let me tell you what begins to happen the moment you pray there will first be silence one month two months you will start seeing physical agitations the demons that are resident in men will start reacting something is happening in the realm of the spirit your own loved ones will start fighting you for reasons you cannot explain and say look um you are becoming proud and you say no no sir i'm not because you are becoming proud the moment they say that remember spiritual intelligence you know it's not the individual you you respect the body but go back in the spirit and say satan i'm still there i know it's you jesus looked at peter and said satan get thee behind you and you go and continue and then one day let me tell you how god will announce that he has come to that territory a spectacular move of god will happen one day you will see people in a family and they are just sitting down watching football and the power of God breaks out in that house. Breaks out in a house where they hate the Holy Spirit. Guess who the first to be filled with the Holy Ghost will be? The Father himself. And you are wondering, my father? My father? Yes, your father. This controversial person who is so scientific. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is the one God. Your prayer. The Holy Spirit has been eyeing him and on that day, We have missed it there are many territories that are cold so the only way people can get some fire is when they rush and converge in particular places the place of convergence is important but the place of convergence should not be a remedy for lack of fire where you are it should be a place to come and receive a greater fanny can you make a commitment in one minute that you will become an extension of the fire of God in your territory. Pray. Pray one more.
cast away lukewarmness. Some of us, our lives are under attack. We are seeing it, but we do not care. The grace for prayer is zero. Every and anybody is distracting your prayer life. I'm busy, I'm busy. A deception by the pit of hell. Lord in the staff quarters Find a space through me Lord in prison We represent an extension Of that altar of prayer hallelujah listen let your prayer be focused on impact not titles impact not titles if you are here roaming around looking for people to start going to your small church lock it down and go and start praying alone yes sir yes sir don't invite anybody let them come and meet you pray and you are praying and God is watching you my beloved son no carpet no canopy no mic no suit no nothing but a genuine desire to seek him and God is saying I, I am watching listen all this all this running around am I a prophet or am I apostle is nonsense it is the place of prayer and work. there is nobody that starts ministry and start walking with God knowing who he is even if God tells you it will not look like that are you hear what I'm saying all this I am apostle this just wait and see it will happen you are joking nothing will happen it is in the place of prayer as that fire refines you it starts drawing you to become something and everybody starts saying this is the training of a prophet even you you may mistake yourself for an evangelist because the only thing you did was crusade but then it's eventually as he's building you you know that no this training is not an evangelist training <laughs> why is this unusual <laughs> there are people who think they are calling their some of you here seated you are born prophets with the office of a prophet but you have not seen one vision because it's not about the vision keep praying just continue just continue you will argue with anybody and say no sir i'm not a prophet me i i know i'm a pastor because i'm a good teacher you will find out that teaching is not even part of it just keep praying the refiner's fire comes through that prayer when your heart is being purged are we together now flesh is being taken away one day you begin to pray and all of a sudden you will find out that you will prophesy like Saul from morning till night and step into a strange dimension many people who are calling themselves many offices take it from me they are wrong they don't know it is only the place of the dealing of the spirit that makes you you say you are a pastor who told you just because someone prophesied he saw a part and he said so he may be right but he may not be it no don't say just because you saw a ring you saw a hand you say i'm a prophet i'm a prophetess i'm an apostle no sir don't flatter yourself let the place of prayer incubate you when you come out fully the name that you are will be shown not just by titles results 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 will show who you are if you're a prophet don't tell us let the results show it show us the eye of the spirit you received in the place of prayer show us the acumen the ability to perceive realities that's what makes a prophet show us the ability to bring things down from the realm of the spirit don't come and talk jargons and waste our time show us the performance that comes based on the word of god show us the throne in heaven that backs that office don't say i'm an apostle show us the throne that backs you show us the keys of the territory that was given to you 
we go around bragging calling ourselves names flattering ourselves and deceiving people and being deceived ourselves pray in one minute lord a restoration of the grace for warfare and intercession praying over a land please pray please pray please pray restore me back oh god to the ordinances of the fathers restore me back restore me back restore me back Restore me back the ordinances that help men to walk with God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I once saw a man of God that I knew years ago. When I shook that man, as soon as I shook him, tears filled my eyes. I was almost asking him, where did your fire go to? What happened to you? What made you cold like this? Who deceived you? What did you start listening to? Where did you go? Which association did you join? Restore my fire. Lift your voice and pray. Cry it from your spirit. Restore my fire. Shakata gata. Leketo satos kabriata. Restore my fire. Restore it, oh God. The destiny of a territory is at stake. The destiny of a territory is at stake. Makato kata kata kata. Sheketekete. This is not the issue of being a man of God. This is not the issue of being in ministry. Preserve us of the ordinances of the Spirit. Daily prayers, daily prayers, daily prayers, daily prayers, every day, daily prayers, every day, daily prayers, every day, daily prayers, every day, daily prayers, without fail. Christ's atmosphere and come and destroy what God is. Your own destiny is at stake. 
I will not let another person infiltrate my environment. No, sir. If you are paying the bills, you make the rules. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen, there are many pastors that need to repent because many pastors stop praying sins. Ministry is ongoing. I'm in ministry. I know how busy ministry can be. Let me tell you, you need to love God beyond money and beyond members and beyond power to remain prayerful as a man of God. No matter, you can be leading a prayer movement. It's no guarantee that you pray yourself. You can pray whenever you are with the people. It's no guarantee. Many prayer, many men of God that lead prayer groups, I tell you, their own prayer lives is dying. I tell you this as a man of God. Because it is hard work for a man of God to be consistent in prayer and be in ministry. There are ladies that don't pray. Don't pray. Fashion is, is eating us up. I believe in fashion. Look good. But it's complete nonsense if you don't pray. Can we pray in the spirit just for one minute? Just, just to allow the Holy Spirit to bring this. There are gentlemen that don't pray. We are over conscious of ourselves. No, sir. Teach your children to pray. Teach your children to pray. Hallelujah. Please sit down. 